Hi guys, um, I haven't recorded a video in quite a long time because there's been so much stuff going on, um, leaving school, exams, I've got one more exam so I haven't quite finished that and I've got a lot of things coming up going on holiday and things like that so give it a few weeks and I'll be sort of getting back into the routine of every book I read, reviewing and everything and maybe doing some vlogs as well. But today I'm going to do, I suppose it can be a sort of tag that I start, so if you want to record your own video of doing this, do it in the video response or send me a link or whatever and I'll read it, um, watch it rather. I want to do a video of my expectations for season 4 of Vampire Diaries. I'm like a huge fan, um, I've read the books but they're very, they're like parallel, completely different to the show. They couldn't be more different, they're just polar opposites so... You really don't, you can't really compare them. I also do like the show. I read the books first, but yeah, I really like the show. Um, and I just wanted to sort of do a video of what I think is going to happen in season four or what we could maybe expect. If you haven't read, watched rather all of season one, two and three, don't watch this video. Because I will be recapping everything and spoiling everything. So if you haven't watched them, don't, mainly season three especially the last episode, don't watch this, so you have been warned. Um, season 3, the finale was a few weeks ago, about a month ago now I think actually, maybe more. Um, it was really dramatic and stuff. Season 4 is coming on the 4th of October in America. I watch it online, so I watch it when the Americans and everyone else watches it. Um, and then I rewatch it when it comes to the UK a few weeks later. I think this season they were two weeks behind. Um, so yeah, I rewatch it then. It normally comes out in September, but this year it's in October, which means we've got to wait even longer. But it'll be worth the wait. There's a number of things that we've been told by Julie Pleck about what's going to happen and such. So here's a few. We've got the fact that Elena obviously does complete the transition because obviously it ends I should really say when it, obviously season 3 finale ends with Damon running in and like, well Elena dying in the car so it's Stefan saving Matt first and by the time he gets to Elena she's dead and then you've got Damon running in and looking all cute and then Meredith telling him that she helped her as in she gave her vampire blood so she died with blood in her system which means she's coming back and it ends with Elena waking up um, uh, in transition, so we're told she definitely does p p complete the transition, which obviously we thought would she would anyway, because it would kind of be a pointless show if she was just dead. Um, <laughs> it wouldn't really work at all because you wouldn't have a love triangle or anything, so that would really kind of fail. Um, we're also told that um, Matt is alive, which is always good. I th like we figured that anyway, but Matt's alive. I'm glad Matt's alive. We're also told that it's going to be a new villain, which will be worse than Klaus and all the originals. Now there's a lot of speculation on who that will be. Um, I wondered about Kitsune, which are in the books, the Vampire Died books, as I said, they're completely different. So I don't think it will happen. LJ Smith's writing is really out there, like some of the stuff you read and you just think she's high or something. <laughs> Um, and the Kitsune are like half fox, half human demons and they get up to a lot of mischief and trouble. I can't see that happening in this show, to be honest, because it's kind of... I I just don't... I just can't really see it myself. It just doesn't fit with the whole dynamic of the show compared to the books. Whereas in the books it totally it was completely crazy, but it worked. But in the show I don't think it would. Loads and loads of people are saying that it's going to be Tartia, who is or who was, Klaus and Elijah's love when they were human, and Tartia is the doppelganger, so that means that if Tartia by somehow is in it, Dina Dobra is going to be playing Elena, Catherine, because Catherine should be in it, if, if she's not in it this season, then it's going to be a bit of a fail, because we haven't seen a lot of her for a lot of episodes. Um, and a lot of people are saying that Tartia is going to be in it, but I don't see how, because Tartia was human, died, and it was her blood that turned, that they drank to, when the first vampires were made, the originals all drank it, and then the original family was made. So I don't, it was her blood, so I don't see, she must be dead, unless she somehow come back as a vampire herself. 
that is a popular theory. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, but I suppose it would work. I don't really know. So I think that's all we've been told so far. Oh, and that um, Joseph Morgan will be reappearing as Klaus, because obviously it ended with Michael Trevino, who plays Tyler, having to play Klaus, because Klaus is trapped inside Tyler's body. So, like, everyone was sort of... Everybody loves Jomo and <laughs> Joseph Morgan, and um, they sort of really wanted him to be back. We've told he will be back in season four at some point, which I'm really glad about because I love Michael Trevino, but he's not Klaus, he's Tyler, and he always will be for me. So that's sort of all we've been told. So now it's sort of my personal expectations. The main one is Damien and Elena's relationship. Because I love that relationship so much. Although she technically chose Stefan, it wasn't really about that. And even Jolie, Julie Plex said that it wasn't about her choosing Stefan. Because she had to choose on the spur of the moment who she went back to. And she actually said to Damon, not just to Stefan, to Caroline and Bonnie and Tyler and Jeremy. So it wasn't really about her choosing Stefan at that moment. It was about her choosing to go home. So that sort of says otherwise. I just adore that pairing. We've had a lot in season three. So much in season three. We've had like, obviously, I think quite a few kisses. Three times 14, there was quite a big kiss, but the best was episode 19. Obviously that kiss, that would have gone so much further if Jeremy hadn't walked in. And it really sort of got us thinking, oh my god, it's going to happen, and then it was like, no. But I just think that was, you know, a taste of what's to come, I hope. Because there are a lot of reasons why I think that this season is going to be the time for Damon and Elena. Because you've got um, the fact that she's going to be a vampire, and we've been told in past things, anything you felt as a vampire no, as a human, is multiplied as a vampire. So any feelings she had for Damon is going to multiply now. So instead of her caring about her, it might just be, you know, she she's always like, sorry, not he, she's always like, um, I care about you, Damon. And I think she loves her, him anyway, personally, but that is going to be multiplied. Also, in the books, this is a slight spoiler, um... Elena turns, which is quite obvious. That's the only sort of similarity, but it the similarities end there because something crazy happens when Elena's turned. Like I can't, I'm not going into it in case people haven't read it. But it's her blood that it's Draymond's blood that turns her, and she is inside to him and is all like, "You are my master." You know that sounds really weird, but you know, she was sort of obsessed, sort of obsessed with him for a while as she became a vampire, and. Obviously, Meredith in the show took all of or took some of Damon's blood, and that's what she used. So, Damon's blood turned Elena, which is making me think, oh my god, this, you know, that could ha that's going to make her more there. Also, the main, 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 main thing is she'll remember everything is compelled her to forget. So, the whole meeting, maybe if you and I had met first, and they did meet first. I mean, what more do you need to indicate that it could happen? There's, you know, there's a lot there that could happen. Um, she's also going to remember him in... After Rose, after they met Rose and all of that, you know, when she got kidnapped in season two, he compelled her to forget that he told her he loved her because he didn't deserve her, but Stefan did. So she's going to remember all these things he did for her. And that's really, it's going to be confusing for her, I think. But it's going to make her more intensified. Um, and I really just think it's going to, there's so much foreshadowing. Like, I can't think about always. All I can think about is right now. And, um, is, oh, you can't kiss me again. I know, it's not right. No, it's just, it's right. It's just not right now. So, you know, there's so much foreshadowing going on. And I really, really think and really hope that Damon and Elena sort of the more developments in that. Other relationship wise, Claroline, 
seriously, Klaus and Caroline have to happen. And obviously she's going to technically kiss, or has technically kissed him, in Tyler's body. So, forward is now Claroline. That's crazy. And I'm really excited about that. I love Claroline so much. Um, Bonnie-wise, I don't know. Bonnie and Jeremy, I hope we'll get back together. I really like Janna, but obviously Anna's dead, so. I also like Jalaric, but Jenna and Alaric are dead now. As for the Alaric bit, I think he will make, I think he'll still have an appearance because although he's dead, Jeremy will be able to contact him. So that will, you know, they're going to be, I think he's still going to be in it. And I love Matt Davis and the character of Alaric, so I really, really hope that's it. Yeah, I really hope that happens. Um... Stefan wise, I quite like him to be with Catherine, but I can't see that happening. I would really like that. And like my there was I posted something on my Tumblr, there'll be a link below. Um saying that it was a picture that I found and it has sort of a caption and it said my ideal end game ships at the end of all of the seasons are Claroline, Stefan, and Elena. And that is exactly what I want. I couldn't that yeah, I really want that. That would just be my sort of major thing. Stefan wise we haven't really spoken about him. I don't know what's going to go on between him and Elena. Nina Dobrev did hint towards the fact that she might, that Elena might not remember she technically chose De Stefan, but I think she might have just released that just to sort of stir us all up and get us sort of, you know, excited. But I really have no idea what to, exp you know, this is this is what I hope will happen, but as for the first episode and the whole season, I'm really sort of in the dark and I'm so excited about it that I'm just, yeah, I might explode. So that's, I think that's all I've covered and that's all I've got time to cover really because else I'm going to go on forever. Um, yeah, like I said, if you want to do this tag, do it. Talk about what you think will happen, what relationships, what plots, blah, 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 and sort of just do it as a video response or whatever. So that would be really, and just comment with your thoughts as well. Because um, obviously not everybody wants Damon and Elena and that's fine. I don't believe in all this ship wars rubbish. I like what relationships I like, but I don't start calling, like shouting at people for not liking it. Like if you like Stelena and you're watching it, you can tell me. I'm not going to be like, get off my video. I, I hate, I hate ship wars. So, you know, if you don't believe, if you don't agree with what I've said about Delena, that's fine. I might not agree with some of your views, but I'm not. I don't get into arguments with it. I just really don't see the point in it. I really like talking to other fans about their opinions because you have debates, don't you? You know that's what brings you together as a fan base. So it's like that. Huh? So yeah, let me know. Um, I've also. I'm also going to be when the season starts. Each time I watch an episode, I'm going to be doing like a reaction video, what I thought of it. Um, so look out for them. They're going to be up every week when it starts again. And that's it. So thank you for watching and goodbye.